guys welcome back to my channel I am going to be doing a video for you guys today because this is all about my favorites for the month and it's not just for the month of May it's also for the month of April because as you may have seen uh, there were a few uh, videos that I was not able to post and um, you know there were some things going on in my life in my family particularly um, I kind of updated some of you guys um, on social media if you follow me on Instagram or Facebook you would know uh, but you know my dad is battling cancer as I may have mentioned in a, on another video and um, you know I needed to take some time off to take care of daddy uh, take care of him and my family so that's the reason why I wasn't uh, uploading for the past couple of weeks but um, I decided today to just put together a little something. I don't know if that I have a lot, a lot of things, but there were certainly some things that I certainly loved for the month of April and for the month of May. So this is gonna be a combined effort. So I hope you like all the products that I'm going to be mentioning and you find it useful. You find it useful for yourselves. All right, so let's get started. So. I want to first have an honorable mention to China Glaze because lately I have been in love with colors that are uh, neon colors such as this and the first person that I saw this on was on Lisa, Lisa Duncan's one of her videos and I'm like oh my god what color is that she has on her nails and it used uh, and she, it just happens to have been um, rose among thorns is the name of the color from china glaze so this is the one as you can see and is the one that i have on my nails right now if you can see um but then it's funny because i went to a salon and i'm like trying to find the color everywhere and i couldn't find it and then i found this one and i was like wow i love that one more I thought I lo loved it more honestly a difference is such a slight difference in color not too much uh, but this one's called um, you drive me coconuts I love it honestly the difference is one is more pink and the other one has more I'm like freaking out you guys I'm so sorry I have to tell you just quickly uh, some story I came home Friday and my garage just seemed everything was fine uh, the garage floor everything was just normal and then Saturday I decided to go run some errands with my little one and I see these holes that have been digged onto the floor of the garage and honestly it looked like if an animal had digged in there and created tunnels and I don't know what it could be so I posted the pictures on um, an app that we have here that is called next door and everyone's telling me that those are palm rats palm rats that have created holes onto my ground and they're coming through my garage yeah so any little noise that I hear right now I'm like <laughs> I don't want to see rats in my house so I already told the owner of the house and they're gonna be taking care of it all right let's come back to <laughs> that was a lizard <coughs> that was a lizard peace everything's fine birds in the sky everything's fine okay so the difference is just one is more pink the other one's a little bit more corally okay love them really really cute colors for the spring and summer since I have been away, you guys, um, one of the things that I took with me, um, so some of these things are new and some of these things are from my collection that I had not used in a while and I realized that I had it and I started using them again and have totally fallen in love with them again. So one of the things that I have been using lately quite a lot, especially during those two and a half weeks that I was in Miami and I didn't have a lot of time to honestly I wore no makeup and the only makeup I wore was just like um, a CC cream on my face and call it a day I at, at a minimum curled my lashes so I fell in love with this curling uh, lash curler from Tarte 
number one is the cutest thing because it is all blingy but you know on days honestly where you really have no time this is perfect to just curl up your eye your eyelashes and you know at least give your face uh the impression that number one you have lashes and number two you're a little more awakened because the lashes kind of open up uh your the frame of your eyes and so i have fallen in love with this again and i've you know started on to the routine of curling my lashes before i apply um primer on the lashes and um then mascara so i've also been using a lot of primer lately and i it, it just makes such a huge difference on my lashes and i'll do a little video showing you guys how i um achieve really curly really long natural lashes for a daily look especially for like going to work or whatnot um i'll do a video so i can show you guys how i use this little guy and the rest of my other products the other thing that i fell in love with um that i purchased recently and on another video that i that I filmed for you guys I ended up showing you the box but the product I had already taken it out because I had been playing with it and it's this lipstick by um, by bite beauty I love this lipstick you guys it's called kimchi and this is the color called kimchi and it's the lipstick that I'm wearing today I just love a really bright hot pink purplish type of hue lipstick and this is just perfect for spring and summer plus bite beauty is one of those clean brands that you know uses really good ingredients on their uh, formulas and um this particular product it smells like ooh, i think it smells like pineapple no cherry I think it's cherry i don't know but it's so good another product that i can share with you guys is i haven't used it a ton but i have used it twice and i can tell you that i am in love with it i used it in one of my videos and i used it um one time to go out but i'm totally in love with scott barnes body bling platinum uh you guys this on the legs looks amazing i'm not wearing it today <laughs> But it does give you such a beautiful tan. I'm gonna put a little bit on my hand so you guys can see. Just a beautiful, nice, subtle tan with uh, a little bit of um, sheen to it. It just makes it look glowy and healthy. So I'm gonna see, I mean, it's not, you can't see too, too much because it's not like, you know, it's not a tanner. Uh, it just gives it that nice luminosity to the legs and a little bit of color if you can appreciate it and it smells really good um i love it i love it to wear it on the shoulders and on the chest and on the neck area if you're going out and you're wearing some some somewhat of an open uh shirt or dress this is beautiful to wear on your arms and your legs love it love it love it highly recommend it i know that there's so many products right now right now out there uh that are like oil with shimmers which are i'm i'm very intrigued in um but i have to say that this is really a winner for me so while i was out um as i mentioned that i didn't have too much time to do a lot you know to wear lipsticks and whatnot there were two products that i had purchase that I utilized a lot and one of them is the uh, Laniche I should have asked to see how do you pronounce this Laniche Laniche lip sleeping mask for all skin types you guys this thing is so emollient and it's so beautiful for your lips I can't tell you enough how harsh and cold the temperature in the hospitals are for your skin and my lips were cracking open. This thing was a miraculous cream for my lips. Loved it. It is so, so nice and emollient and 
balmy. It was great. And then it does come with a little spatula. If I can find it. Here you go. It comes with a little spatula. And as you can see, it's like, like I said, it's like an emollient cream. And it has a little spatula and then you just dab it onto your lips. And this was a lifesaver. So Laneige, I think is called, or Laneige, Laneige, L-A-N-E-I-G-E. Forgive me if I'm mispronouncing it. But it was great. And then also, um, after I left the hospital, I ordered some things from Sephora and it arrived at the house. And uh, you know, when, as you gather some points, um, I ended up, you know, getting this absolute uh, balm, nourishing lip balm, honey in rose from Lancome. And I have to say that this one was also really, really nice. It was great for the lips and you know to go to sleep I've been using this and I am really liking it so I just really feel that the skin after after some after a certain age <laughs> I hate saying that um, but it is true the skin after a certain age requires you know some TLC and so if you can give it some nourishing some some you know moisturization all the time that you possibly can do it to take off my makeup, um, I'm sure you guys have seen other, you know, makeup people talk about this product, but I recently also with my points, I got, you know, I ordered this one and from Sephora, it's Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm and this is what it looks like and I have to say, I really enjoy this. I haven't used it quite a, you know, I haven't used it that much, but the two or three times that I've used it, I really, really like it. It doesn't leave your face greasy or with any residue whatsoever and it certainly does remove your makeup really really well you do have to go in and you know obviously wash it wash your face afterwards with your uh, cleanser but this will remove even like the hardest you know um, mascaras you know waterproof mascaras if you have any nothing beats my Mary Kay I make a remover though that is the miraculous um, liquid to take your eye makeup off. But this does a pretty good job too. All right, let's see, what else can I share with you? Lashes, these have been my go-to lashes. Not that I've worn lashes that much, but I did for Mother's Day and I did, today I'm wearing them. Um, I, you know, just every little chance I get, if I do end up going even to a grocery store, I try to put myself together a little bit. And these are Mink Effect Design by Lash Couture Faux Mink Collection. Um, these are the little black dress uh, style. Uh, you guys, these are so nice and wispy and soft and curvy and they're not so long that they look like all spidery or anything it's just a nice set of drugstore lashes highly recommended so they're called little black dress and you can find them in walgreens or uh, cvs i bought it at cvs super fashionable and um i would say type of daily daily style kind of lashes let me tell you a story. During the time that I was in Miami, um, for some reason I find it that there's a lot more mosquitoes over there than here where I live in Naples. Mind you, I'm all surrounded by um, the Everglades, but uh, Miami is like a mosquito infestation. So we went to my dad's house. My, house ha my dad has a lot of grass field, like another uh, lot of grass next to the house and I didn't think about this but we land we we got there and my little one started playing not even 10 minutes outside in the garden and by the time he came in he got beaten head, head to toe by mosquitoes but mainly his legs I 
Dr. Gott to use this product. And this is the Honest Bug Spray, um, organic, non-irritating, effective bug spray by the Honest Company. Um, I've been using this product for quite some time and I'm, I'm telling you right now, it's a lifesaver. So what happened is that my little one created a reaction to the mosquito bites and he ended up getting hives all over his legs, poor thing. I feel so, so bad. It lasted him nearly three days of me having to give him Benadryl um, every six hours because he 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 had like the, the rash everywhere. Not on the arms, it was mostly on the legs. But had I used this product, that wouldn't have happened. Of course, after that, every single day, I kept on putting this on and I could see the mosquitoes flying and they were not getting close to him. I wore it on myself, I put it on myself because I also have the blood for them suckers and I could see them flying but they were not biting me. So um, you know repellent has, it, there's a huge you know commotion about you know the ingredients on repellents not being good for you. So um, highly recommend the Honest Company, the bug spray, you can purchase this at Costco's. Is they sell two um, in a packet and um, I love it. It smells really nice as well. It has, I think, like uh, lemongrass um, essential oils and, um, and that's what you will smell. So for the summer, be ready, get prepared. Um, this is an oldie but a goodie. I actually just purchased it, purchased it also. Um, I actually had one before and I gave it away. I hated it and I believe it's because I was applying it incorrectly. But this is the um, MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot. Uh, this is in the color um, Soft Ochre. I have recently fallen in love with this again after I saw Tati recommend using it, you, you know, applying it on your eyes using a damped uh, beauty blender. Before, I was just with my finger going like that and applying it. Granted, it conceals any redness, any discoloration, any like little veins on, on the eyelid area. But I noticed that by wearing so much with my finger or even applying it with a brush, um, it made my eye area look really creepy and thick and I don't know, and wrinkly. And it was not pretty. It was not allowing for my eyeshadow to go in there really nice and smooth. Um, and it just happens that I was applying way too much product. So now that I've been applying it with a damped beauty blender, oh my God, life-changing event. It's beautiful. I love it. And this entire month, I barely even have been using primer. Um, you know, eyeshadow primer. I've only been using this and I'm really, really liking it. So I want to continue using it. So another thing that I purchased uh, and it's a favorite even though I have not used it, but I've seen it on other people. So I can tell you already that I'm going to love it. Uh, this is a brand new lipstick from Mary Kay. Uh, so I'll do a makeup tutorial another day with this uh, lipstick. It's a matte lipstick. It's a limited edition. Uh, this lipstick, let me tell you a story about it. They launched this lipstick in Peru, um, possibly about a summer or two ago. And people saw it in some pictures, you know, some of the NSDs had the, the lipstick on or some people that were in Peru or and flew here had the lipstick on and everyone in America was like, what color is that? Why don't we have it? We need it in America. Bring it to the United States. So this is the lipstick. Funny enough, it looks a lot like my kimchi. <laughs> but isn't this so gorgeous? It's called Paparazzi Pink. Paparazzi Pink. And this is a limited edition, you guys. For the every purchase of this lipstick, one full dollar goes into um, it, it goes into domestic violence shelters. You know, America is very, very big about giving back and, you know, and uh, helping women. Um, and, ooh, a palm tree branch just fell. I'm glad I wasn't walking over there. So, anyway, 
one full dollar gets donated um, into shelters to help women that have been, you know, uh, victims of, of domestic violence. So, you know, I love that because this is beauty with a cost and I love supporting brands that that do good, that do good for society, that do good for women specifically. So I can't wait to try this lipstick on. Um, I bought two of them because this is limited edition, but let me put it next to my kimchi because I think that they're very, very similar. Mm, let's see, what do you guys think? Uh, this has a little more violet, I think, and kimchi has more pink. But I'm so excited, I can't wait to wear it. Um, next, you will be seeing a lot of videos with me uh, using the Farsali uh, Rose Gold Skin Mist. Oh my God, you guys, this thing is so amazing. This product is so dewy, it's so beautiful, it's so brilliant, it gives you this beautiful luminosity without being like greasy looking. Um, I love the way it smells. The pump sprays beautifully. You saw that? And you can spray this onto your skin before applying your makeup and your makeup just goes on gloriously. And let's say that your makeup starts getting throughout the day, it starts getting kind of, you know, dry and it starts making you look crepey and making you look not so refreshed. You can go and, you know, uh, spray this onto your beauty blender and then kind of like dab your beauty, beauty blender all around your makeup and I swear to God magic happens your makeup just starts going where it belongs to um, blending itself again and just you know becoming alive all of a sudden without you having to reapply I tried that today I filmed a video earlier earlier on and I sprayed this onto the beauty blender and I just dabbed it on all over my skin and it, it just took a life of its own. I love this product, highly recommend it. it. You don't know what you're missing if you don't have this. So another thing that I've been in love with uh, from Mary Kay, this is the Mary Kay Satin Lips um, Shea, Bo Shea Sugar Scrub. Um, you guys can't stress enough. If you're gonna be wearing, you know, uh, lipstick, whether it's a nude lipstick or a dark colored lipstick it's so important to exfoliate your lips so that all that crustiness and all that dead skin just goes away and your lips look nice voluminous and and smooth and the, and the product just goes on smoothly and nicely this thing is so so beautiful it smells so good it smells so good that I want to eat it but I can't eat it but and you just need literally like I even half of your pinky nail okay try it this thing is beautiful it, it has essential oils in it it has shea butter like I mentioned and it, I, I've been totally you know in love and using this very often every time I wear lipstick um, it also helps with your fine lines around your lip area so highly recommend this I know that there's tons of products out there you know if you want something at home that you want to make yourself some essential oils like um, olive oil and sugar or um, lavender oil and sugar that can also help but you know I love products like this because this is a lot more than just shea butter there's there's a lot of a lot more exfoliant and emollient ingredients in here to help you have the most beautiful lips ever I also wanted to share with you guys that um, I have found someone here in Estero that does threading I was looking for somebody who would do threading here for like ever and I couldn't find it I would always have to go to Miami and have my threading done um, I don't have a lot of lash uh, eyelash I don't have a lot of uh, eyebrows anyway but it's important that if you're gonna have your brows done that you do it but you know in the method of threading that's my particular preference and I have found that by doing threading my brows just they look amazing afterwards and one of the things that happened is that I have little gaps of hair here and there um, so the stylist told me to buy some castor oil 
Uh, so I ended up purchasing castor oil certified organic from Amazon and this is what it looked like and it comes with this little brush if you've never tried castor oil before this is thick this is really 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 thick but this is one of the most ancient remedies to help you grow your natural hair you know it's not gonna happen overnight but it will happen so every single time I remember I can't say that I do it every single night but every single time I remember before I go to bed I open this up and just dab a little drop that's all I need a little drop onto my brows and I comb I comb this there's a lizard there I comb it all throughout my brows and whatever's left over I also do my lashes so if you want to wear it on your lashes that will also help with the growth of your natural lash um, so um, the reviews that I've read show that um, it does allow for your natural hair to start growing uh, to become more uh, you know voluminous um, and, and long long and voluminous I think those are the two things that everybody always looks for right in lashes so um, or in brows and I can tell you that I have already seen my brows have certainly grown a little bit um, I have a little more hair than I usually uh, used to have um, and I probably have been using this maybe for three to four weeks um, consistently and I can tell you that it does work okay I have three more products to show you this is an oldie but, but a goodie also I have been non-stop using this um, blush from it cosmetics by Jamie Kern this is in the color uh, sweet cheeks it's a beautiful peach um, peachy pink but more peachy color type of um, blush it is in powder form a little bit goes a long way so I've been using this non-stop this entire month you guys and uh, to go to work and it gives you this really nice and awaken um, healthy healthy type of um, cheeks to your skin so I love it and it I don't think that it's very expensive but it's amazing how much product sometimes you have it in your uh, collection that you forget about and so I have been on a mission to try and like open up what I have look at the products that I have and start using them because you know sometimes we just purchase something use it one time or two times and then we forget that we have it and we end up buying more at least if you're a makeup lover you know exactly what I'm talking about but um, this product I've fallen in love with it again and it's a keeper I look forward to continue using it now for the spring and summer this is a perfect example of what I just said so this, this lipstick it's from Tarte and no sorry from Too Faced I always get those mixed up it's from Too Faced and one of my runs uh, into into um, Sephora I saw it and I fell in love and I am such a sucker for lipsticks that are peachy um nudie and then they have a little bit of gold sparkle in it this one does have a lot of gold sparkle in it and i do have to say it is a tiny bit chunky um when you press your lips you do feel it that doesn't necessarily bother me but if that bothers you then this is not the lipstick for you but i have to say this lip gloss is so beautiful you guys so so beautiful like when the sun hits it like your lips are all shining gold you look like a bronze goddess so if you love that look this is for you okay i think that i have oh one more thing oh two more things no three more things wait a minute i'm not done <laughs> okay you guys so for the baby and I'm sorry that there's no particular order here but my little one has really 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 sensitive skin and I recently um, I've always loved California baby I love everything organic for my little one because I've already run into two instances where I have I didn't have the product that I needed for him and I ended up purchasing something else over the counter and he he developed rashes so I felt awful about it 
um, and now that he had that skin um, reaction to the mosquito bites I ended up purchasing California Baby Therapeutic Relief Eczema Shampoo and Body Wash Skin Protectant. Uh, it's, and then I also got the Therapeutic Relief Eczema Cream. So um, this is made with oatmeal and calendula and it helps heal and protect delicate skin for babies, kids and sensitive adults. I can't even stress enough how wonderful these products are. Um, I've been using it on his hair and it, it, you know how lovely his hair is this is so so great even if you don't have eczema if you have sensitive skin this product is just so beautiful for your little ones um, and you know I've been using the cream on his legs because he did get a bunch of marks all around his legs and um, this has been helping it heal um, and it softens the skin and you know if he's he also scraped his knees while playing out there and this has been just magical for his skin I'm trying to see how I can do this without the Sun hitting my face I'm gonna move forward a little bit here all right um, and then I think I have two more things to tell you about three more things to tell you about um, the day before Mother's Day, I, you know, my hair, being in the hospital for two and a half weeks and taking care of my dad, I had not washed my hair, I had not styled it, nothing, and, but I found a little um, salon nearby my dad's house and I went to just do a blow, blow out, um, and the lady used this product on my, on my hair and I absolutely loved it. It's called, it's a serum. And it's called Moringa's MBS Hair Drops with Moringa Oil. Oh my god, you guys. This thing smells like men cologne. But like the good men cologne. Like the men cologne that you want to bite. You know, the one that you want to... That one. Um, it's beautiful. And it leaves your hair so beautifully and shiny. Um, I don't know if I am able to find it um, online I'll, I'll post it down below I purchased it from the salon this was like I think $15 <sighs> I want to put it in the ends of my hair um, it's just fabulous you know if you have dry hair any in any product that you can find that is like an oil serum that you can put on your hair it's so helpful and I highly recommend that you use it so if you're able to find this online or if I'm able to find it, I'll post it down below because I think you'll be pleasantly surprised and pleased with this product. All right, and last but not least, if you follow me on Instagram, you also know that I had um, purchased these babies and I was waiting for them to arrive. Um, they took a little long to arrive, but they finally did. And I wore them for Mother's Day and it's these um beautiful beautiful little birdies um from bubble bar let me just fix them up real quick from bubble bar look at these gorgeous little guys oh my goodness aren't they so cute i mean i would wear them today but i was going more for a rockish type of style <laughs> But these guys are so perfect for the spring and summer to wear with beautiful long maxi dresses, uh, you know, to wear them for a wedding, for a baby shower. I always say the same thing, uh, to dinner, to lunch, to wear it wherever you want to take them to. Uh, I wouldn't recommend them, recommend them necessarily for work because they're a little flashy, but oh, who cares? wear them where you want to look at these babies they need to be taking out for a ride they need to go fly free with you right i think you would agree love them and i ordered some other ones from them too that are so fun but i'll show you in a different video um and last but not least i found i don't even know how it was that i found these people I think I was looking for a, you know, wicker rattan type of handbag, and I don't know how I found these people on Instagram, and I started following them, and 
oh my god i mean this this company is beautiful they make amazing amazing things and what i understand is that they're uh sisters these sisters um have a company called bendito sol in mexico and what they do is they support like the local um um you know the, the local people of the town um the area where they live in yucatan they are known for making this kind of things handmade and wait till you see this bag you guys this is just so so amazing the work that they've done is just fabulous um so i'll also link their their they don't have a web page they only have an instagram page uh, but look at the work first of all let's just say it comes with a duffel bag um, to protect the handbag and a dust bag duffel bag how do you say it dust bag you get me that sun is bothering me but take a look at this she happens to have uh, asked me she sent me a bunch of different um you know this is all handmade and sewn by the way handmade sewn um she sent me a couple of um but uh is it banners yeah banners and i chose the one that i wanted to and from there they took off i said you know the color that i like the most is hot pink and look at this handbag you guys isn't this the most amazing thing ever ever all of this is sewn stitched hand by hand this probably takes hours and i don't know years to make i don't even know it's not years because i didn't wait a whole year to get it but it takes a long time and I appreciate everything that is handmade so much more than anything that you were to purchase you know from from a designer at a store this to me is worth every single penny it has the brand which is bendito sol and it has it right there too and then you know she also asked me if I wanted to um, make it my own if I wanted to um, have my initials or my name in it and I said yes they did make a little boo-boo though um, they put someone else's <laughs> initials on here but thankfully my son's name is Ian Gael because that matches Ian Gael even though it's not mine I had asked for either CG or I had also asked for Candice but that's okay not a big deal it still works um, they are not inexpensive they are a little pricey but then again, you know, they are shipping it to the United States. And this is, this is, I'm sure that this is supporting an entire family uh, with what they charge. Um, it's supporting an, an entire family in Mexico, you know, for them to be able to put food on their tables. So to me, that's priceless. So look at all those details, you guys. All the little hangy thingies. It is so fabulous. I love it. And this it's also in the inside it's also lined with the same material as the dust bag and I wore this for Mother's Day and people stopped me to ask me where did, had I purchased this this baby so um, I look forward to supporting them uh, further maybe I'll get one more they do have three different sizes they have a small one a medium and a large this is a large so I think you need one of these bags in your life and last but not least you guys my last favorite thing I wanted to share two more things I keep saying one more three more five more 100 more these little um, hand uh, head pieces they're from ASOS I purchased two of them I love them because they have wire in the inside and you can make them however you want to you can make them into bows you can make them into you know sticking up however and it just holds your hair so beautifully love them love them love them and these have lightning bulbs in them lightning it has a lightning lightning bulbs i think it's called 
sometimes I forget the proper words in English. I apologize. But anyway, yep. You see them? Super cute. And um, these shorts. These shorts, I found them. They're from Abercrombie. And I love them that they're like, you know, the distress style. So in fashion right now. The best part is that they're like high-waisted. So if you're a mommy and you're always trying to, you know, cover up a little bit of this problem area that you haven't been able to work on and that's okay these shorts are perfect perfect but the best part for me is that I don't have a big butt you guys and these shorts give me a booty and it's all flared up really cute love them I am not a shorts type of girl but ever since I found these I have put you know put them on and I don't take them off these are the high rise um just the high rise um yeah they don't have a particular they don't have any other name um hold on let me see <clears throat> that's right the high rise short that's all there is to it all right you guys so that is all i have for you guys these have been my favorite uh things for the month of april and may i hope you enjoyed it if there's anything here that you guys liked that um you would like to get for yourself so i'm going to make sure that i try and put as best as i possibly can all the links down below for you um if you enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up leave me a cool comment down below and let me know what you'd like to see next all right i hope everyone's having a great sunday and i hope you have an amazing rest of your week Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your support. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Love you. Bye.